guys welcome back to my channel my name is Shamika if you are new and if you're joining us for the first time go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button click the bell so you can be notified every time I post and make sure you leave a comment down below so in today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup video y'all I haven't done like a full sit down explanation makeup video and I don't know how long it's been a very long time but I really wanted to start doing at least one makeup tutorial a year because I do know that some of my subscribers are here for makeup or makeup tips or help with their makeup so I do want to incorporate this into my channel at least like I said once a year so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my I don't know if I want to call it natural or glam because I'm like somewhere in the middle you know I'm kind of like in the middle depending on how I feel so it's never too glam but I'm never looking natural either if that makes sense so whatever we call it my 2022 updated makeup routine that's what we're gonna call it so let's just get right into the video I already did my brows off of camera because if I would have did my brows on camera we would have been here way too long so if you guys would like a brow tutorial just leave me a comment down below and I'll work on getting that out for you guys I actually have my brows microbladed so if you're watching this video if you hadn't if you haven't already seen my makeup this vlog video where I eliminated my brows make sure you head over there and check that video out so starting off I'm going to prime my face now I don't use a specific um primer per se I don't use an actual primer I just use powder to prime I've been doing this trick for the past three four years now <laughs> so I've been doing it for a while I can't tell you guys the last time I actually purchased a primer it's been years like I haven't purchased primer in a very long time I love to use the airspun translucent powder you can get this powder at your local Walmart that's why I first found it and it lasts such a long time you guys it's a couple fluid ounces I don't know how many exactly but it's a couple you guys and I'm telling you this product lasts me at least for over a year like at the least it's gonna last me a full calendar year so yeah I'm not someone who does makeup a whole lot though so I don't know if that's probably why I'm sure that probably you know has a little something to do with it because I do not wear makeup as much as I used to like I feel like when I first got into makeup I wore makeup all the time like I remember I would get up two three hours early extra for class just so that I can do my makeup now I have to go back to the office soon for work and child, who can end up? I already gotta get up at six o'clock just to get here on time and think I'm gonna get up at five to do some makeup? Oh no. But 22 year old Shamika 23, baby what? Catch me up at 5 a.m. And during daylight, daylight savings time too, it's still dark outside, but baby, I'm up beating that face, okay? <laughs> Couldn't pay me today. So now that my face is primed, I go ahead and I use my foundation. Now right now I'm in between, well I'm not in between, I'm using two foundations. I'm using my Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Really love this foundation. I actually got this on sale at Ulta not too long ago. I am using the shade Coconut. And then I also love this, um, I want to say Kat Von D, but it's not Kat Von D, KVD Beauty good apple foundation i love this foundation i'm using this in the color tan 074 i'll make sure that i link everything down below it's the dogs outside for me so i'm going to go in with the good apple foundation first and i'm going to be using my morphe m6 brush i love this brush it is like a small it's kind of like a medium-sized buffer brush i love it so i just like to take the foundation like this i also use this foundation to conceal my brows once I've done my brows so I just like to take this and just put a light coating all over my face it's the winter time now so this foundation is my perfect shade but it's just like a bit too neutral for me so I still like to go in with my Becca and put it on the lower portion of my face just to bring a little bit of warmth to my face And I do not use a lot of foundation. I used to use so much foundation. I do not use a lot of foundation now. It's all about the concealer, baby. So I just do enough to get a nice even coat. And I don't really put foundation on my forehead. If you've been here for a very long time, you guys know I went through a phase where I stopped putting foundation on my forehead completely. 
it was crazy but now <laughs> i do put foundation on my forehead but i wait until i'm done with my entire face and then i do my hair and then i put the foundation on my forehead just so everything can blend perfectly next i'm going to take the becca now although i love this foundation it was actually broke when i first got it the actual pump doesn't work so that sucks that's probably why it was on clearance but nevertheless she gets it done okay never turn your back on something just because it's broke if you can make a way to fix it and you love it baby do what you gotta do this becca foundation is definitely thicker and has much more coverage than the good apple that's what i do like about it as well i am a full coverage foundation type of girl i am so sorry if y'all can hear like little things going on in the background it is so windy outside in chicago right now so windy that it's making the door shake a little bit I have a balcony in this room. This is my filming room. And I have a balcony and I didn't close the balcony all the way. It's cracked like just a smidge, but that smidge is enough to like, you know, make the door move, so. Now this is how I like my foundation to look like. This is a beautiful coverage of foundation for me. Like, it's giving skin, honey. Speaking of skin, I'm gonna reference back to my maintenance vlog. If you haven't seen it already, make sure you check it out because I also got a facial in that vlog and it's definitely helped elevate my skin. So, get into it, sis. So next, I'm gonna do concealer. Now, this is something new. Actually, before I get into concealer, I'm gonna take the back of my beauty blender and just damp off some of this excess foundation. Then I'm gonna get into concealer. I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Double Wear Concealer in the shade 425 Tan Sand. Now y'all, this is gonna be my first time using this concealer. I went and got this mini because I wanted to try a new concealer for the purposes of this video. So this ain't usually what I do. This, this is gonna be a hit or miss right here. You know, I can make this work. It's a bit too light, but I can make her work though. So I'm gonna keep using it. I'm confident in my abilities. Now listen, I hope I'm not gonna regret saying that. No, but the thing is, I'm not going to regret saying it because, you guys, the thing about makeup is you can make anything work with makeup practically. Like, not literally, but pretty much you can make anything work in terms of makeup when it comes to makeup. All you have to do is know how to blend. Baby, blend for your life. Blend and mix colors together, mix shades together, mix different undertones together, and it will come out right. Trust me. Just be patient and blend. Like I said, the Kat Von D foundation is a bit too neutral for me, but then I have the Becca foundation, which is a bit too warm for me. Put them both together, and y'all saw that coverage. So don't give up. If you're feeling discouraged or you put something on and it doesn't look right, don't give up. Just keep going. I'm going to take another sponge, and I'm going to use that and go inside of my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I still use this, guys. And it's just like an OG product. And I still use it. Yes, I do. I still love me some Sasha Buttercup. I've never tried Laura Mercier, any of those products. I've been using the Airspun and Sasha Buttercup combination for years now. Those are literally the only two powders I've ever used. I've never used any other loose setting powders. I've been doing this technique with only putting the concealer on the outer parts of my eye. And I've been doing that for a while now. I was told that it was supposed to like actually brighten it up more than just placing the concealer directly under the eye. It's supposed to, I'm sorry, excuse me, not brighten your eye un under eye up, but lift your eye up. That's what it's supposed to do when you just place the concealer on the inner corners. And I would say that's true, you know? I do notice that when I place the concealer directly underneath my eyes, it tends to look a bit heavy. This is more kind of like a light, airy application, you know? It blends out beautifully, guys. I was nervous about this color, but, well, I was nervous about this um, concealer shade, but it's actually beautiful. 
in combination with the fact that it's just naturally a good product i'm sure you guys have heard of this concealer it is probably one of the best concealers out there very full coverage so in addition to the brand just being a good brand and the formula being really good in combination with me using a beauty blender it's just blending so seamlessly right into my skin even though the shade didn't look right when i first put it on it actually blends into my skin tone beautifully i'm really impressed with it i'm actually going to put a little bit more on because i only put a little bit on because i thought it was going to be too light you know but now that i'm done with this eye i'm going to go ahead and set it with the sasha buttercup i'm going to set it immediately so that it doesn't start to crease i like to press the powder into my skin sometimes i will press the powder into my skin and bake but that's when i'm going for like a super 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 durable heavy thick you know caked up look that's not really needed tonight so that's like that summertime makeup like sweat proof for me that's like girl you trying to be out all day in the scorching heat in the scorching heat y'all we like halfway done at this point my makeup routine is so simple but it be flawless every time okay don't don't sleep on me don't sleep on me just because i ain't don't mean my stuff ain't you feel me <laughs> so i forgot while i'm running my mouth popping my sh popping my sh i forgot to blend out my nose oh child look the concealer didn't dry it up on me but you know like i told y'all earlier it's just all in the flick of the wrist honey just keep beating and blending i'm gonna take some more sasha buttercup to go ahead and set my nose for contour i'm gonna be using my fancy beauty bronzer in the in the shade Coco Naughty. I love this bronzer. I've been using it for like mm, maybe close to a year now. Or maybe a little bit over a year. I really like it. I see some people use Coco Naughty and it's so dark on them. It does not get that dark on me. This is a really good color bronzer for, for me. I don't do any cream contouring just because I feel like, you know, God, he blessed me with some naturally high cheekbones. And the way my face is shaped my face just naturally has that cut you know so i don't really need a whole lot of contour just a little bit and then a little bit of what i'm about to do next is all i need i use the same bronzer to contour my nose so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i haven't wiped off the powder i'll wipe that off when i'm done contouring my nose that's just how i like to do it because i feel like the bronzer kind of eliminates some of the buttercup powder anyways i take my contour all the way up into the creases of my eyelids just because i'm probably going to end up using bronzer as my transition color for my eyeshadow so it kind of just gives it that placement already for our eyeshadow i'll be using my zulu by julius place palette i've had this palette for some time now i'm going to be taking the color oh the name is not on it See, some of Juvia's place um, shadows have names, but some don't. It's strange. But it's like a dark, deep, dark orange type of burnt. It's a burnt orange type of color. I don't know why I can't speak right now, but yeah, it's just a pretty burnt orange. Nothing crazy. It's kind of flesh tone for me, which is a good thing because I'm not someone who likes eyeshadow. If you've been here for a while, you probably know that. Your girl is not an eyeshadow girl. I'm sorry. I just can't get with it. This the most I can do is like one color and then blend it out with a transition shade. I have very sensitive eyes, y'all. I tell y'all this all the time. Like, I always talk about my eyes. So, yeah. Eyeshadow irritates my eyes so bad. Like, glitter cut creases and all that oh child no it's a good thing i don't really care for it anyway because i would hate to not be able to wear it if i loved it luckily i don't really care for it now that that color has been placed i'm going to take my fancy beauty bronzer and i'm going to use that as my transition shade to just go ahead and blend out the edges of that previous eyeshadow like i said y'all it's all about the blending 
Yeah, you can wear one eyeshadow. Of course, it'll look good. Sure, go for it. But not if you don't blend it, sis. Like, what are you doing? You can't just slap that stuff on and not come through with. You know, you gotta have some type of artistic ability behind it. You can't just think it's gonna look good on its own. You gotta finesse it a little bit, you know? Next, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury face powder. I got this little sample from Sephora a while ago. Really love this face powder. It has definitely helped elevate my makeup, you guys. Like, when I tell you this powder has took my makeup to the next level, for sure, for sure. So I just take the powder and I apply it directly underneath my eyes. It's just like a, a powder concealer, if you will, you know? It's like that extra coverage, but it's not liquid. I love it. It definitely brightens under my eyes. I always use it to cut out my contour, which is what I was talking about earlier, which is one of the reasons I don't really need to use a cream contour because once I go through with this lighter powder underneath, it just brings everything together. That's how you like it, huh? That's how I like it, baby. Period. I'm gonna put a tad bit on my forehead just cause you know, we do want a cohesive face. I use this powder everywhere that I highlighted. I feel like it took away some of my contour though, so go back in. I'm not putting more product on a brush, just bringing that contour back. On to the next step, which is something that I just got into maybe a couple years ago, two, three years ago, blush. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush. I love this blush. It is in the color Daydream. Oh, it is so so beautiful it's so pretty it's so soft it's so peachy but pinky at the same time yes i live for this blush i put blush on my nose my forehead literally girls i put blush everywhere okay because we want some color so next i'm going to spray my face with my setting spray which is the morphe setting spray it's the one with the collaboration with jeffree star i've been using this for a while this is my last bottle so don't judge me but i'm going to go ahead go ahead and spray my face then i'm going to go into my revlon skin lights highlighter this is in the shade Gilded Dawn. I'm going to take this and I'm going to use this to highlight my nose. I don't highlight anymore, but I do like to highlight my nose. I went a little, I went a little crazy on the highlight, so we're going to bring it down with the beauty blender. I'm going to go ahead and put my lashes on off camera. I'll be wearing these Blanche lashes. That is the name of the style if you're interested. So I'll be right back. So I had to go off camera and, you know, wrap things up, get my hair done, put my outfit on, you know, the whole vibe, you know, the vibes. So I'm about to do my lips now. And these are the lip liners that I use. They are called Sunny Waterproof Lip Liners. I get these from my local beauty supply store. So you just got to hope you get lucky and find it. I use the color medium brown. I also use dark brown too, but not as much as I use medium brown. Then I'm going to take my Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Just Peachy. I absolutely love this shade. It's like the per perfect pinkish nude for me. Now this lip is so pretty. We don't even need gloss, but I'm a gloss girl. So we're going to do gloss every time, all the time. So I'm going to take my clear gloss. This is just a regular clear gloss by Revlon. Any regular clear lip gloss will do, girl. And that is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you check the description box. Everything will be list everything will be listed in the description box. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.